This season's orange crop could be in jeopardy. The Ag Department is lowering its estimate of orange production by 10 percent on concerns of a crop disease farmers don't seem to be able to get under control. Jackie Keenan reports from Florida. When you think of the state of Florida, bright, juicy oranges may be one of the first images that come to mind. But not oranges that look like this or like this. Citrus farmers are battling a bacterial disease called greening. Carried by the Asian citrus psyllid, the disease cripples the tree and starves the fruit of nutrients, causing them to drop before ripening. This tree has is, is, uh, got a, quite an infection from the green disease. Victor Story has been working in groves since he was eight years old. He now manages more than 6,000 acres. He's battled freezes and hurricanes, but greening is the worst threat to his oranges he's seen in his lifetime. It is very troubling because we do raise the tastiest, best juice fruit in the world. This tasty fruit is worth more than $9 billion to the state of Florida, which is the second largest producer of oranges in the world. Since 2006, greening is to blame for $3.6 billion in lost revenue and 6,600 job losses, according to a study from the University of Florida. The most troubling sight for a citrus grower is a tree like this one behind me, whose fruit has all fallen to the ground. Also troubling is the fact that greening has no cure yet. We'd feel a lot safer if we knew what the resolution was. Shannon Shep is a deputy commissioner of the Florida Department of Agriculture. She says research is intensifying on trying to find a cure, but some growers are calling it quits. There are two sides to that challenge. The first one is fruit loss is absolutely a killer on your economic side for the growers. The, the second is that trying to prevent the disease or caretaking in the groves, those, those costs are also an economic killer. Before psyllids and greening, from about six to eight hundred dollars an acre uh, today to eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars an acre. Story estimates ten percent of his crops will need to be replaced, but he's optimistic Florida's sweet fruit will survive. Just like to say that we've seen a lot of challenges over the years and we've met them and we're still viable. Reporting from Central Florida for First Business News, I'm Jackie Keenan. Coca-Cola is not letting greening stand in the way of its OJ business. It is spending $2 billion to plant 25,000 new acres of orange groves for its Simply Juice brands. 